What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Rocky Mounts one bike add-on for the monorail and the monorail solo. So what this is going to do is it's going to install on your existing either two or one bike Rocky Mount monorail. Just goes right up in top, you attach it, and now you can carry an extra bike. Let's check it out. This is what it looks like with the bikes loaded. You can see it doesn't look any different from a standard bike rack and you can't tell that it is an add-on. So I like that part. It put on there, it just looks like you got a three bike bike rack. When you go to add on the third, or even if it's the second tray on your existing bike rack, make sure you watch out for lining up the handlebars with the seats. They don't want to make contact. Ours touch just a little bit, but not bad enough to not have these bikes on the rack. Now you can adjust the trays side to side, three inches. So you can move that back and forth to make sure all the bikes are out of their way. I would definitely do that if you use the same bikes in the same positions all the time. That way it just saves you the trouble later on. Another thing is it's still gonna hold 45 pounds per bike. Also looking at the wheel cradles, you can use it with the softer fenders. This one's more of a mud guard on here anyway. It's not recommended using on the hard fenders that will come out here more on like an e-bike style. You don't wanna damage those at all either. One thing about the add-on being there is a little difficult is the handle's gonna be all the way back here now. So it's not gonna be right here easy to use. You're gonna have to reach under there just a little bit to pull that and lower the bike rack, but it still can be done. I just wanted to point out that one part that I wasn't so thrilled about. With the bikes unloaded and folded up against the vehicle, you can take a better look at the add-on itself. So the add-on starts about here to here. It's this extra tray we've added to the two bike monorail. Now you can also add this to the single bike monorail, making it two bike. So it's nice that you can have that option of if you grow with the bike rack, you don't have to get a whole new one. If you want to get a couple of different bikes, maybe you have a fat tire bike and a mountain bike, you can take them both. Now you can with just adding an add-on instead of buying a whole new rack. As far as installation goes, it's not that hard to get this installed. Check out how I did it. First part of the installation is going to be popping off this cap. Now there's two holes here on each side. You can just use a tool, small screwdriver just to push in. You can lift up on one side and kind of work it out that way. Now I've taken it out a few times, so you might have to push on that side too to release it and then kind of just work it up and out. With this out of the way, we can grab the add-on spine and set that into place. Line up the add-on spine right here where you took the cap off. Slides right into place. The holes line up pretty easily. Then we're going to get those bolts with a washer and add them on each side. We've got our bolt with the flat washer and just get started by that side. You might have to move the spine back and forth, but it goes in pretty easily. And just come back and tighten it down. You're going to replace the cap. Just push it into place on the add-on and then we're going to do some pre-assembly for the tray. Now it's got a threaded nut here on this side, so we're going to run a bolt through and make sure we line it up here on the tray. So it's going to go right there. We're going to add our bolt. Now make sure you use the shorter bolt. There's two different sizes. One's a little bit longer. You're just going to use the shorter one for the wheel stop. The other one goes to the wheel cradle, and we'll get to that in a second. So we line this up with the holes in the tray. Make sure it goes to the other side. And then just start to thread it in. I got it hand tight, come back with the tool and continue tightening it down. Now you want to make sure you don't tighten down too much because you want this to be able to move still, but you don't want to do it too loose either where it like just goes around like that. You see how much it rattles? You definitely want it tighter than that. Looks good there. Now we're ready to do the wheel cradle. So I'm just going to move the loading arm up just a little bit out of the way. When you go to put the wheel cradle on there, you want to make sure the blue buckle faces the loading arm. We'll do the same thing, line up that. But this time, we're going to add the strap in place because that's what's going to attach it. So we'll have our bolt and our washer. We'll run through there and the wheel cradle. And then also line it up with the tray. This kind of helps look at it from the side. You can see it a little bit easier. It goes through the first hole. Now we're got through the second one. Now I can just start threading it in. It even helps to lift up on it so they can fall into place a little easier. Again, same as the other side, you want to make sure you keep it tight, but not too tight. 
Looks like this is gonna be good right here where it moves pretty easily. Maybe give it one more turn just to be safe. There we go. We're gonna set the wheel tray into place on the new add-on spine. Gotta get it balanced right there because we have to go underneath and add the bolts. Now what I'm gonna do is loosely put each one of the bolts in because we're still gonna have to adjust the tray side to side and make, it even, make sure it's even with the other ones. So we've got the flat washer and lock washer on there. We're just gonna run each one of these through to help it hold in place so that I can make those adjustments. Come back with our tool. And tighten down just a little bit more than hand tight, but I still wanna leave it loose enough to slide the tray back and forth. With these left loose, we can adjust the tray from side to side. I would suggest loosening all the trays, loading up all three of your bikes, making sure there's no contact issues before you go and tighten it down because if you use the same bikes all the time, you might as well get it set now while you're already tightening it down. With those tightened down, it was that easy to install the add-on. Didn't take me that long, and now we can carry three bikes. Overall, I really like the add-on as an option. I use the Rocky Mountains monorail myself. Really like the bike rack, and I like that I can just add on to it if I need to down the line. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and hope this helped.